We're learning more about the man who was shot by police seven times in the back on Sunday. What is the latest on that? Well, uh, the family of Jacob Blake held a news conference in Kenosha this afternoon and uh, provided an update on how he's doing. He was shot at point blank range seven times and has very significant injuries. Uh, it's unclear if he'll ever be able to walk again. And right now he's paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, his mother made a plea to people in her city to uh, she's calling for calm. Uh, however, she made a very uh, her and other members of the family, as well as family uh, attorneys, made a very urgent plea to the country to step back and look at this, questioning why it is again there is another example of an unarmed black man being shot by police in this year when there is this massive conversation, an urgent discussion about uh, the ongoing, uh, ongoing concern about police brutality, racial injustice and inequality in the United States. Have a listen. Let's begin to pray for healing for our nation. We are the United States. Have we been united? Do you understand what's going to happen when we fall? Because a house that is against each other cannot stand. To all of the police officers, I'm praying for you and your families. To all of the citizens, my black and brown sisters and brothers, I'm praying for you. I believe that you are an intelligent being just like the rest of us, everybody. Let's use our hearts, our love, and our intelligence to work together to show the rest of the world how humans are supposed to treat each other. America is great when we behave greatly. The family is still waiting for more information from police and a question was asked at the news conference of the lawyers, you know, what information or what is from the family's perspective, what happened in the moments before that video that captured the shooting, which has been shared widely on social media, widely uh, on broadcast media as well. It's a very graphic video um, showing the Sunday afternoon shooting by police of uh, this young man. Um, and uh, the family, a uh, family attorney said, you know, until police start telling, giving us some answers here and giving sharing some information with them that uh, they're they're not going to discuss that at this point. So they're still waiting for basic information from police uh, as this incident is under investigation. All right. Developing story. I know. Thanks for the update, Katie. Appreciate it. The CBC's Katie Simpson for us in Washington. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.